Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a good day so far. Um, we are back with another chill Guild Wars stream. Um, I will apologise from the get-go that I may be low energy today and my voice may sound a bit weird because I'm pretty sure I have a cold. Um, but I really wanted to stream today, so that's what we're doing. Um, we'll hop in in a minute. We are streaming with Right Big Chimpkin. Um, let me do a little shout out for him if you are not aware of his channel. Um, and we are also streaming with TLB, or Tiny Little Boy, uh, for the first time, which should be really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so, we get. Hop back in Discord in just a second. Um, but yeah, so this is my first stream back in in a little while as I've had a break because I've been dealing with some pretty rough health stuff. Um, well, I'm looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to it being just nice and chill. Um, we're playing our leveling character today. And we actually, since last time, we actually have a guild with extra people. That should be all good. Um, right, let's hop into Discord and undeafen myself. Hey, TLB. Hi. How's it going? Good, you kind of spooked me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, whereabouts are you in game? I'll come to you. Uh, where am I? Wizards? Thief? Uh, which zone are you in? Uh, Kessex Hills, is that how you say it? Yep, yeah, no worries, I will come down to you. So how have you been enjoying um, Guild Wars? I've really enjoyed it. It's <laughs> a fun little game. Which class are you playing again? Uh, uh hello. Elementalist. Hello. 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 I've introduced everybody and I um, am really glad that I told you about my monologuing thing because Ben had redeemed it before I'd even <laughs> gone live. So... I need to talk, I need to, because this is new and I'm just sort of like, this is this is new and I'm sort of trying to decide on how this works. Do, as this is a group stream, are you happy to help me talk about the particular subject or shall we, does it need to be me talking solidly for five minutes straight on a subject? Um, I think as it's a group stream, stream we can help you. What do you think, TLB? We should help him. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Like, I think it'll be fun in either direction. I think it'll be fun in either direction. And I think it works because it helps people. It helps people stir the conversation as well if people have got a specific subject they want us to discuss. Also, so, you knew yeah. Benner was going to redeem that. Like, this <laughs> second well, your stream same, started, same you same, knew. At the same time, Benner was like, oh, you should just tell me and I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I should let her know so uh, I could, she can redeem stuff as a test for me. And I don't even have to tell her. She just redeems it before I'd even got a chance to mention it. I'm not complaining. I'm just. I'm not complaining, but it's like we've got a good organisational thing going already. So I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to add stuff until Ben inevitably finds it. Um, so the first, uh, let's decide what we're doing because I think we're just going to go and join TLB, right? Yes. In terms of yeah. So where are you at the moment? Uh, TLB's where in Kessex you? Hills. Whereabouts I'm is that? Can below Queenstown. Below Queensdale. Um, and I am making my way over to them. Making your way downtown. Mm -hmm. Walking fast. Something, something. And I'm I'm a seagull. Um, Go fuck yourself. <laughs> um, for the... I've already introduced you in my introduction, TLB, but for the people who don't know who you are, would you like to introduce yourself? TLB, I'm also a streamer, but don't feel like it today i'm gonna put a shout out to tlb in my chat so you can all go over there and show them some appreciation it's tiny little boy no space or yeah it's that's your username right in yeah. terms of yeah that's what i thought great i've shouted you out it's very exciting i need to also do some life admin because i have done this all out of order because I was too excited that Fenner had redeemed that thing before I'd even started. <laughs> um, so for those of you in my chat, um, Chimkin has added a new channel point redeem. 
um the it's uh it's x amount of points how many points is it 750 750 points um and you redeem it for him to do a monologue on a subject of your choosing for five minutes I mean, it's going to be a lot more exciting when it's like just me whilst trying to play a story game on a subject I have no idea what I'm talking about. But it'll be interesting to do the. It'll be interesting to do it together as well. Mm -hmm. Where is my pop out option? There it is. Okay, I'm ready. I've got several thousand windows open and I'm on my way to meet TLV. So. Okay, so the subject. And I'm, I have a timer for this. So. We'll treat this as we mean to go on. We'll give it the solid five minutes on the subject. So we have to we have to do the solid five minutes. Uh, the subject is what came first. Was it the chicken or was it an egg? <laughs> go, everybody, go. Uh, you you I lead. Need, I need I need innovative ideas. No, we're uh, not getting uh, like we'll help, but you need to start. <laughs> <it out. laughs> uh, I'm trying to turn my timer on. Um, There's my timer, Bennett. You. Can you see it? It's on oh, yeah, I see it's very you. Exciting. You're floating for me. Okay, so chicken and the egg. <laughs> like, rationally speaking, chicken and the egg. Uh, chicken, I'm just going to say the subject over and over again to solidly, <laughs> just five, solidly minutes. five minutes. <laughs> chicken and the egg. Chicken oh, and the egg. The chicken egg lays the, chicken. the egg, but the chicken comes from the egg. Hey, Kentex. Um, I mean, if you I'm, think about it logically, I'm not doing uh, the best, but I'm, I'm when here. Did, I, uh, I appear to have picked up a little bit of a cold from going out to the pumpkin patch, which is just sort of well, really. Was, um, I'm, trying to, there's a I'm not feeling very good, but I really wanted to stream today because I've been missing it. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Are you in the UK now, or are you going towards the end of the week? But um. Nice to we see you, though. From monkeys. Thank you for coming There's in. It's like a natural process, and our, like humans became capable of doing certain things in sort of a timeline, and you can sort of chart that out and okay, go, okay. And then there's the missing link and all that bollocks, isn't it? Where it's like, okay, the missing link was probably Bigfoot or along those lines. At some point, birds, and I don't know anything about this subject as a thing, birds probably evolved the fact that they are laying eggs. Because before that, birds probably, I don't know, I think things were laying eggs before live births. So everything was laying eggs before. So what did birds like like dinosaur what, like the birds birds are dinosaurs, right? Yeah, yeah dinosaurs laid them. eggs. Okay. But what came before what did the dinosaurs evolve from? Like single celled organisms. Well, that we went from it was just like switching over yeah. switch one day. We went, we went, from, we, were, we, were, we went from like having pools of goo everywhere, and then suddenly there were like ninety foot tall dinosaurs. Fish. Um, Benna yeah, has fish. actually at the end of at the end of uh, at the end of five minutes, Benna has gone out and googled the actual answer to this question. So is that five minutes five already? Minutes, no, we've got two and a half minutes to go. I was this, is say. Harder. this is harder than it looks. I'm really curious to see how this goes. Um, I'm really curious to see how this goes when I'm by myself. I'm absolutely terrified, in fact. I'll do one, and it'll just be terrible, and I'll never do it, but I'm getting off topic. Um, like, I feel like we need to come up with some sort of conclusion before the end of the five minutes. Okay, so I think, mind, personally, for me, I think the egg came first, because... Yes. Chickens have evolved into their final form or whatever they have, you know, the, whatever you're using the word as. More creatures laid eggs than chickens, so therefore the egg came first. Yes. That was the other way around you could sort of look at it, because I was looking at it as the, they evolved the ability to lay eggs, but that's probably, that's probably a little bit too scientific. They probably um, have always been laying eggs. Yeah, it's just that they've always been laying eggs, it's just that they've only just recently in, in quotation marks being chickens maybe yeah i'm curious to know the scientific answer that ben has got now mm -hmm. and i feel like we should have there should be some like big um i'm going i'm just starting to explore this area i'm not coming to you that's a rude thing of me to do um i feel like there's like a oh, is there like a mm -hmm. is, is there like a what's the word you're very glowy yeah is, it so there like a, um, is there like a poetic response to this question and a scientific? Well, probably. Like, am I meant to turn around and come around and come out with some groundbreaking, 
like, oh my god, everybody will question the way that they're living and the way that they're dealing with chickens and eggs moving forward. I don't think we're going to break some sort of like... No. People aren't going to write books about this conversation. No. But maybe they should. It's just me rambling for five minutes about chicken and eggs. We've got 55 seconds left. I have seen books about just rambling. And or just, just going nonsense. from one subject to the other with nothing, with no sort of like... So interestingly... Yeah. And maybe that's the way that the chicken and the egg started. Maybe a chicken was like, I'm going to do this one day, and suddenly they laid an egg, and that's how they started breeding. Maybe. Like, is, the, is, like, is the timer up yet? <laughs> uh, no, 30 seconds. We need some sort of conclusion, because Ben has got the scientific answer. So I'm going to go that the egg came first. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We're the going with the first. egg. Okay. And I think... Um, yeah, they've been, they became chickens, they became chickens, but had or whatever a chicken came from had always probably been laying eggs. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sort of, that's the sort of the way we're looking at it. Five mm -hmm. seconds, four, three, two, one, goodbye custom monologue. Stop. Good. Okay, that was five minutes on the subject of chickens and eggs. There was a timer on screen, we did a full, and there was a little bit of meandering, and I think I get off easy when there are multiple people in chat to have this conversation. Yes, you do. It'll be really interesting that all of these... Okay! Benna has given me the full scientific explanation for all of the interested people that aren't reading chat. Oh, um, with amniotic eggs showing up roughly 340 million years or so ago, and the first chickens evolving at around 58,000 years ago at the earliest, it's a safe bet to say the egg came first. Eggs were around way before chickens ever existed, so Dolly hit the nail on the head with the perfect explanation. I had some sort of, like... Have you watched the Alien films? No. TLB, have you watched the Alien films? No, I don't think I have. Like I've they... seen my friends play vid the video games, but... I don't Isolation, think yeah. Stuff like that. But they, um... Movies. They, in that, I was coming at it in a really weird, sci not scientific, science fiction-y sort of way, that chickens hadn't always been able to lay eggs, and like they suddenly developed the need to, but that's completely the wrong way of looking at it. And it's weird that my brain went there first. <laughs> I, so you, Ben gave you the scientific answer. Mm. I looked up the philosophical answer. That's Which the is word interesting. I was looking for, that's the word that I was looking for. I couldn't think of the word philosophical. So mm. I was sort of going psychological, and I kept getting morally <laughs> in my head. There is not a moral answer to whether um, a chicken laid an egg first. And of course, I'm it on comes, my way to you whilst I'm it having comes, this It comes from a Greek. Um, so okay. the Greek philosopher Aristotle provides a possible answer to the riddle. Aristotle introduced the idea of potentiality and actuality. As pertains to the question at hand, the purpose of the egg is to become a chicken. The egg is therefore a potential chicken. The hatched chicken is, well, the actual chicken or actualized chicken. So through a complex argument involving the perishability of anything potential and the uh, eternal idea of the actual chicken, Aristotle deduced that actuality always becomes before potentiality. So according to Aristotle, the chicken came before the egg because the actual the chicken is actual and the egg is potential. Um, but his ideas predate modern, modern science, so... Is this going to be like a Schrodinger's cat sort of it situation? The the chicken isn't an egg, the, the egg isn't a chicken until it becomes a chicken. Yeah, because the egg is potential. Chicken is the actual okay. thing. I mean, an egg in by definition is potential, isn't it? Because yeah. all eggs are eggs, but they're, not all things that come for eggs are the same thing. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. For example, scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs come from eggs, but you can also make fried eggs, and fried eggs are pretty good too. <laughs> hey, buddy. You look thirsty. Oh, Ziggy Z, we'll thank you for the, the hydration nudge. We'll, just, we'll turn the conversation back around to... Uh, we'll oh, and, like, um, and redeem give my cats a treat on webcam. Dolly is sat here waiting. <laughs> oh, this also right, gives I'm, you guys... A, um, I have changed my transition to a more seasonally themed one so you get to see this as well when i switch over uh okay <laughs> he'll be um so yeah i'm yeah. not going to start loading you with questions now somebody oh. has redeemed uh i i have to play five minutes of i have to play five minutes of <laughs> good girl cookie clicker <laughs> good job um thank you tapper 
Um, I was still I was on my way to you, but now I have to play five minutes of uh, cookie clicker. So well, TLB will, and there's there's a hero point here we can do, and um, but we can what we can get stuff in the was, general area. <laughs> what I was going to say was you've been playing you've been playing uh, Guild Wars two for what now two two weeks just about when we started yeah. right. How are you finding so. it? Is this your first MMO experience? Not my first MMO, but it's definitely one of the better we'll ones. See. I will just okay. say, what other MMOs? I'm very seasonally appropriate. The Minecraft, also, one. the pumpkins. <laughs> are we recording a podcast right now? Is this, Even the, if this she is is coming a very hand. scripted back and forth, lots of different discussion subjects? Hey, time well, is like one. And Zuguzi, thank but, you both yeah. for coming in chat. We have I very a game much to appreciate play as well. you. We will, but um, I have to play Cookie Clicker because that's more that's what's important. I hope you're both doing okay. Um, um it's okay, really nice to so see you both, especially as I've I have been over there. away because of health. So uh, thank you yeah, so much for coming your, in. I want, I'm curious to know um, about your general so let's go your back general experience to... with MMOs and that sort of thing because this one is uh, my seasonal sting stream. It's funny. I'm this one. Sorry, go I... ahead. Oh, Bye. someone's doing the. No. Nope. Do I missed it. I was I was trying to think, but then I was getting attacked, so I had to run. Sorry, I was I was talking to chat. <laughs> uh, let's do the hero oh. point, Toby. Yeah. Clicker is really annoying to connect to OBS. There's not a while I'm doing this. There's not a way to set it so I can OBS it easily. I can't believe I have to set the scene up every single time when I'm That's playing Cookie Clicker in OBS. It's super weird like that. Um, hold one second, chat. I am not. I am still here. I am not just a black screen. Uh, add window capture. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I have to add the scene now? to Cookie Clicker. I'm just trying to work out if time. we can get up to the. Yeah, we can get up to the vista from here. Go over to the vista. It's gonna get okay. Very boring. Uh, Time Lord has asked, "Can we show some of the guild stuff now? The guild is established." Absolutely, yeah. Um, so our guild is called a Frog and Chicken Builder Guild, as our Discord is called a Frog and Chicken oh, no. Builder Discord, um, or a Discord community, I think full name is. Um, but yeah, we have a cute little emblem which is a quaggan carrying his little bindle because he's going off on an adventure <laughs> and yeah it's myself jimkin trb uh krim is part of it tapper tapper is also online avi and time lord are both part of it and um, we have some other people who haven't logged in yet to um accept the invitation but they are also part of it and having a guild means it opens us up to different things so we have a guild hall that we can use in lion's arch um and we once, have the guild i was well I yeah we, sure we, ha we have hall. a guild hall we have it now? but until we buy upgrades which we have to do with favor which you can see in the bottom right here um you have to get favor to upgrade the different things um like you can have a guild bank um and guild like you can buy um different shield buffs and things um but you have to have favors to do that so you have to complete guild missions to get favor um and guild missions are weekly challenges for your guild so it says here the current available missions are listed in the guild missions tab of the guild panel select the missions you want to run and start it you'll then have a limited amount of time to complete its, obje its, its objectives if you fail, you can run it again at no cost. The first time your guild successfully completes a mission each week, it will award your guild favour. Um, and the first time you personally complete a mission in a week, you'll receive a personal reward. Um, so, guild missions tab is here. Um, so, the easy weekly opportunities, we have to run a race in South Sun Cove um which is a bit annoying because South Sun South Sun Cove is higher level than we are um I think there is a mission I, I opportunity here it. purchase the mission slot PVE unlock from the market and I do that with gems 
I wonder. A cer does a certain amount of this require leveling? Because I sort of alluded to that in the Discord mm -hmm. today. I assumed that we would, once everybody has reasonably level characters, because like Tapper, Tapper only just started playing today or yesterday. Yeah. Um, it'll be easier to do stuff as a guild and earn stuff yeah, in yeah, and that sort of thing further down the line. I just got to level 30. GG. GG. Yeah. How did that feel? Did you get a nice ding? I have the game very quiet right now, so I didn't <laughs> hear anything. Um, Sorry, we were saying... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, have a quick calls. look. Mission opportunity. Purchase so the mission slot PV unlock teleport to? <clears throat> from the market. Um, I mean, you can teleport to lion's arch which is where it is okay um trb have you been to lion's arch i don't think so jimkin i don't think you've been on this character either right i have i did it today but i will go again because we could run through because lion's arch is a nice hub to unlock um and have unlocked because it's got it's whereas it's each got a jumping race puzzle in it and we can get trb in the jumping puzzle oh, there's a jumping puzzle right here though um, okay. There's, it's it, it, whereas each race has its own racial hub. Lion's Arch is like that for everyone. Um, so if you've ever played World of Warcraft, it's like Dalaran, or something like that. It's a hub that all of the races come to, rather than having their own specific racial hub. Um, I do just want to have a quick Google as to how I unlock guild PVE missions. We're doing this live on air chat. This is mm. very technical. We're clearly highly skilled at this craft of Twitch streaming. We're fully prepared for all answers ever. We're just as prepared. We're just as prepared as most IT departments in most companies. Well, they all they do is Google it. I'm telling you, most of them just go, okay, okay let, let, let's see if we can fix that on Google first. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some more technical solutions, but still. The little ones. Why isn't my mouse working? Have you checked Google? <laughs> I immediately backpedaled then in case there were any IT professionals uh, listening. Um. Ziggy Z, thank you for the all those chickens. Uh, also, yes, this is good quality, quality content, which is why we're doing it. This is why we're doing five minute increments of cookie clicker when those things are redeemed. Whenever you talk, Champion, I can just hear you clicking. Yeah. <laughs> but when you stop through. talking, I don't hear the clicking anymore. Uh, my, yeah, I'm furiously, furiously clicking. I feel like the, it's an entire ASMR-based experience when I roll into Cookie Clicker for those five-minute things. Cookie Clicker um, is over. Thank... It's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, thank fuck, fuck for that. that. Um, so what I will say, chat, is when somebody redeems Cookie Clicker for the first time, Cookie Clicker remains open in the background. So from now, we will be redeeming cookies for the entire length of the stream until somebody redeems a second five minutes of Cookie Clicker. Um, but what I will do is I will stop the timer. That will go away. I will minimize Cookie Clicker and we will go back to Guild Wars. Oh... I, 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 KT, you're a bitch. I just doxed you as well. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, KT just, I just got switched transition on the screen and KT redeemed another five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, 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 yeah. Thank you, Ziggy Z. I mean, this is quality. I'm gonna like if I when I roll out the vods for this, it's just gonna be three hours of uh, two hours of me playing Cookie Kicker, Cookie Kicker. But it'll be a named Guild Wars Two. It'll be really mm. confusing for people. Ziggy Z has been fighting for my life for ten minutes trying to open the lollipop. I mean, they, they are quite difficult. Some of the fruit ones in particular. Ad adult problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's still not open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my mouse into a position on my keyboard where if I am clicking, it's not all coming through my microphone. It's only In coming fact, through your microphone whilst running. you're talking. Is it coming through? I wonder... Um, TRB, Tabacraft has 3k... Do we want to go do the jumping well puzzle while um, Jim keeps I doing... I tell you what, I tell you what, Tap has just said that he's got 3.4k worth of uh, channel points. I might be on Cooker Clicker for a while. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I will join you if and when I'm able to. But I set this own rule for I set this rule for myself. Um, but you know, we're what we're doing is we're taking over the world of this cookie world together as a community. It's super, it's super, super exciting. Ben, I can hear my mouse, but it's not too bad. That's good. And um, OBS has all sorts of limiters on it, so uh, Dolly and TLB are probably um, hearing the clicking a lot worse than uh, chat actually is. Yeah, yeah, it'll be Lolly. filtered through chat, I imagine. Ziggy Z is still not into that lolly. <laughs> 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 Which, you know, I'm just saying, there is an adult in my chat who is unable to open a lolly. But yeah, you and uh, you, you Ooh, and uh, you up. and T you and TLB go nice. do stuff. I will join you if and when I can. Yeah, no worries. Um... This is one of my favourite places in the early level zones. It's because it's so bloody pretty. It is very pretty. Is it prettier <laughs> than Cookie Clicker? Yeah. There is a vista down here too. Uh, Time Lord says I'm getting close to 14k channel points here. No creeper saves, saves a lot. No, no creeper scares saves so, a lot. It does, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying that Dolly needs a sideline game like I have Cookie Clicker now. But if Dolly was to play a sideline game on her stream, what game would that be, and would her audience be interested in seeing it? Yeah. I suppose the transitions are is a lot of it's a lot of energy. Um, yeah. So it would be something that would be perhaps turned on and off need, as my energy is. Um, Farmville. I need. You to just, I need. I need <laughs> Farmville isn't a thing anymore, Krim. I thought they got rid of that. Also, hi, Krim. I have, I have two chats open. I need the chat to describe what Dolly is doing in both of our chats so I can see what's happening because I can't currently see it because I'm clicking this sodding biscuit. we Um. I'm waiting. Did, TLB, did you get that? Oh, no, there you are. No, I actually went yeah, too you far. You fell too far. Because <laughs> I was looking at the chats as well, and I'm looking at how many points I have. <laughs> don't, don't. But for those it's of you who anymore. are looking at um, channel points, do you like? I have. I went through today and put custom emotes on them and changed the colors and stuff. So I, I hope that you like those because I I particularly yeah. like those. Ziggy Z has said right. Dolly is currently not Ooh. clicking a cookie really good description uh, right. um how about that unpacking game yeah that... how would that work in terms of open because that's a separate game on steam right you can open um... you can the the trick with the trick with the way that i've done cookie clicker it's irritating and i have to do it in five minute increments so it has to be a game where the session is can be as short as five minutes yes that's the trick because then it because then it's funny but it's not you know. Uh, well, Crim said Farmville, but how about um, Disney Dreamlight Valley? That's as Farmville as something I've got installed. I mean, will that be? Is that like you a can log in and out? Thing? It's it's I can log but in, collect some shit, and log out. Like it's a. But, but is that funny? Like this is funny. No, <laughs> I think this is funny. I don't. I don't know why this tickles my brain so much. So as much as I'm complaining about it. But I don't want to make my the conversation too much about biscuit. So let's go um, back to Guild Wars. My timer I noticed, is over. I noticed. I wondered if that was mobile specific. No, it's it's. I've just set it up today. So um, GeoGuessr would be a good one. You could do one redeem for one round of GeoGuessr. A redeem for one. Could specify, yeah. People could specify country or like thing of the thing that they're doing. Yeah, that would Guild be something. Wars is super exciting. Uh, yeah. If you have so the you yeah, Sarah Booth you. waypoint, yeah. come to us. I'm the redeem a cookie clicker now. Nobody. <laughs> I've got more than enough points. How many points do you have? I thought you put uh, a um, Jim can where you go. Uh, the away. I'm getting thrown <laughs> off looking too much at chat. I have 10.5k my... for Chimkin. 16.6k for Dolly. 16. <laughs> I am just too prone to spamming jump scares. The first thing I do is log in and spam a jump scare. Uh, we are doing a jumping puzzle and then we will go to Lion's Arch so we can all unlock I it. I don't think I've ever done this jumping puzzle. I'm pretty sure you have. 
I've got to remember how you actually do it, though, is the, um, is the fun bit. And I've made this extra hard for myself because I've not unlocked the Mesmer teleport yet, so do, you will not be relying on me. Uh, Ziggy Z, um... I am hydrated. Thank you very much for the redemption. Did that play an announcement? There we go. I don't think I've done actually any jumping puzzles in this game yet. Just kind of avoided them. Somehow. They're sort of they're sort of scattered around. And yeah. There's some there's some very complicated ones. The Halloween event is entirely jumping puzzle based. No, it's oh I fell. It's not entirely jumping puzzle based. There is just a particularly nasty jumping puzzle, which we could try and do as a guild on stream, which would be um. That would be very entertaining. I have oh, no I fell. Clue where I'm supposed to go. Uh, Tapper, you will get a bigger rucksack over time if you do some of the quests, if you play some of the story, it's sort of the, as you um, do quests so relevant to your level. They we will fell, we need to go up package. to these, we need to go back up the stairs. Okay. Um. Oh my uh, god. Yeah. TLB, TLB, have you fit, I'm, I'm assuming in terms of technical questions this like may that, be not, I, This may be not the best thing for me to be doing right now. Hey, you started this. Yeah, I know I did. <sighs> That's fine. Be brave. Take it slowly. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. The We're really, all here together. The really irritating part of jumping puzzles for me is yeah. I played them. So, I did them so often, and I knew them like the back of my hand. And to now come back to the game after X amount of time of not doing them don't know them anymore and it's frustrating i will say i think it's this way jump to the bottom go 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 crim says i don't think that's how jumping puzzles work no uh, the one thing i will say in defense of jumping puzzles in this game i have not defense i have picked the largest character model i could possibly be doing mm. for jumping puzzles tlb you are probably the luckiest person here with an azura because you can actually see what you're doing at certain angles of this, all I see is shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not up, it's it's round, I think. Yeah, I like being the smaller characters. I don't know why, they're just fun. Because you're I mean, a tiny little brand, boy. Isn't it? It's in the True. same way that I do, it's in the same way I like doing anything, to everything chicken related. Your backpacks move. I know, they wiggle. Oh, yeah, have you not the quag can we because I talked about this on the Tuesday, do you not the appreciate the quaggin backpack? They're kinda creepy. I mean the eyes falling off of this one too. Yeah. Yo, yep, I did it. <laughs> How are we doing? We're almost there. Yeah, oh, almost I there, no. Did a little bit of a commando roll. <laughs> oh yeah. I normally turn off dodge to roll. Oh, jumping Okay, puzzles. I got collapsed observatory complete, so I assume we're done, right? Yeah, there is a chest down here. Ooh. There is normally a boss. So someone must have done it. Or he's underneath. Uh, Crim says, by the way, oh, no, there jumping is. puzzles, using a mount can kind of act as a double jump sometimes. Um, I like to do... The, I like to do... This, um, it's very rare that the mounts aren't band in the locked, area locked, like right? it, like yeah. it says here can't mount in combat can't. and can't like if when that goes away we won't be able to mount because we're in a, a jumping puzzle area they, they did it where they added mounts quite much later than anything else they they did it quite sensibly and made all of the independent zones for jumping puzzles and non mountable areas which is both good and infuriating in equal measure mm -hmm. i have no idea where i am now but i go I've down basilisked. oh you went down, down too far stairs. Oh no, up. I think it's up the stairs. As you come up to a diving point, I think. Benna read, Tapper wrote in chat, how do you get a bigger rucksack? And Benna read, Tapper, when you said rucksack, I read it out of the corner of my eye as ballsack. So, <laughs> how do you get a bigger ballsack? Lol. <laughs> I mean, what have we done? We've done a solid, we've done 10 minutes of cookie clicker and now we're talking about ball sacks in chat. That's, it's uh, fairly on brand for you, right? What, ball sacks is on brand <laughs> for me? I feel like that's also the first time I've said ball sacks ever. I suppose it's testicles, isn't it? Quality content times two, Ziggy Z. I appreciate the, uh, you know. Once you have gathered all the strawberries, if you are 
wanting to do that. There is some diving goggles there. You can put on and dive from. Oh, yeah. If you press F on this, you'll take your clothes off. <laughs> you remind me of a Harry Potter character. A Harry Potter character? Yeah, I think it's just the goggles and then the... The what? Big what? shoulders. The, the goggles have eyelid eyelashes. But yeah, if you put the if you click the diving goggles and then jump whilst you're in the air, you get access to a bunch of special mo moves for diving. But yes, uh, Tapper, to answer your question, I can't remember the exact um, like what level you get them, but you will generally get bigger packs of stuff as you're playing the game. You can also go to an auction house. I think they're called auction houses in this universe, correct, Dolly? Trading posts, but yeah. Trading post. If you go to a trading post in one of the big city hubs, once you've got some money together, you'll be able to buy much bigger mm. uh, bags. I creep trying to say bull sacks. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Um, this is I'm kind of why yeah. I wanted to get the guild bank set up, because then I can, I have quite a lot of gold. I can buy a, a set of bags for everyone and just stick them in the guild bank. Uh, just for everybody's reference, because I was playing, I was playing uh, Cookie Clicker when we were discussing this. Uh, we have the guild now. A frog and a chicken build a guild. It's mm -hmm. named after our Discord and was suggested by Juji, who is one of our Discord people, and we know from the Minecraft ISV server. Um, so Juji, when he eventually accepts his guild invite, will be on named the honorary namer of things. Mm -hmm. But. Um, yeah, we have the guild, so we're going to start working towards working out on a weekly basis how we do like guild events and just sort of earn points in that way. But yeah, we've got a list of people here already. Uh, I won't get too bogged down in discussing that. Let's go. Where are we going? We're going to go to Lion's Arch, right? Yeah, we need to, to run up there, though. Uh, Krim says plants versus oh, zombies or goat simulator. <laughs> plants versus zombies would probably be good. I don't know how long a... Like, it's the session thing that's key for me. I mm. want it. You need to dip in and out. I think a. Um, have I? Oh, I'll come back. Um, I. Th you need to be able to. You either need to make it. Can chat suggest you a game? Make it like two thousand points, and then it has to be a game that you own, obviously, which is difficult. You maybe yeah. have a, like a preset list. Um, I don't know. Or you do something with like Cookie Clicker with mine, where it's just sort of. Ha! Huh, it's Cookie Clicker. Do you have crafting stuff, um, harvesting stuff equipped, TLB? Yeah. Okay. Well, not equipped. I have it. Um, because it's these when you see crafting stuff. Oh no, it's not crafting stuff. When you see stuff like this, like um, gatherables, it's useful to get because it gives you a fair whack of XP each time. Um, I think the tech. You think the it just goes into your bank. For those is those um, are crafting nodes. Nodes. Yeah. Thank you. Nodes. Crafting nodes. Um. It just goes into your bank, and if you want to, you can sell it. Gives you a bit of extra gold. Uh, yeah, uh, going back to the bag discussion and also talking about crafting in this game, um, you do have a list of professions that you can pick up, and uh, one of way. them will allow you to, um, I think you'll, it might be leather worker or clothier or whatever the technical term is, Taylor. but you'll be able to make bags that work as well. Taylor is the yeah. word that I was looking for. I'm just slipping today. I feel like we need to do a solid five minutes on this cuddly dinosaur that I'm riding. <laughs> Have you got this waypoint, TLB? Sorry, I can't talk right now. My mom's doing something in my room. No, that's all right. <laughs> um, there is a point of interest up here, which I don't have. So grab that. The Vista. Are we heading back in Divinity's Reach direction for the um, no? We'll Lions go. Bowl? We'll go sideways. Oh, mm. we can go to go to it from here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I fell. Uh, I think Ziggy Z, Ziggy Z, you mentioned that you like the music on in the background. I think this is the same one I use every week, but is a artist called Elot, E-A-L-O-T. Um, they're copyright free, so I don't know whether where you'll be able to find their music, but I, I enjoy it. It's the only one I use, really.
Um, yeah, I'll I'll have a look um, at sort of games that I can add that people can you know request a nice to see you. a channel point redeem for. Brim thinks he can hit level eighty tonight. Brim, you're putting us all to shame. I mean, I can hit level eighty right now, but I'm not gonna. But that's also because I have a boost, so that doesn't really count. Grim, nobody likes a bragger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll get that. I'm just gonna. We're just gonna. For, we we need to like. Uh, should we? Because you and me, you and me have other guild leaders, so it. we've never played it before. Should we give uh, Krim an honorary title in the guild, like first to hit level eighty? If if Krim hits the, the first the to hit level that, eighty, um, sure. I might. Uh, yeah, Krim is not trying to brag. He just might be trying to push the wagon a bit. <laughs> I mean, I think Krim and Avi. I uh, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody in the guild or in our commu shared communities or whatever. But I think Krim and Avi have put more time into this than I'd ever expected. Mm. I'm really, I'm really happy that people in the community are playing. Please stop it. Come on, over back over here. Good girl. Uh, what level is this zone and are we going to be leveled well enough? 25 to 35. What level are you, TLB? 30. We should be good. I am 30. We'll probably be fine. Uh, don't fight anything. Just do it quick. We'll just run through. Get the waypoints okay. along the way. Um, Bask in the Gantex. glory that is my cuddly dinosaur. Gantex says marbles on stream is fun. You've mentioned that a couple of times, 70 Chimkin. Yeah, so, so marbles oh, on stream point. was on my... Marbles on stream was on my list of games to try because you can do. I, I'm not sure on the, the like the technical side of it in terms of, but everybody in the stream chat can have a marble and then we race. So in the same way that people are redeeming five minutes, um, you could redeem stackable races. So okay, we do one race, we do two races, we do three races, depending okay. on how many channel points are available. And I think that's good. And there are all sorts of alternatives along those lines as well. Um, there's a car racing one. Marbles on stream is quite is like the I think the general standard for all of this. I think marbles on stream might have they were a big like starting thing for low budget games. A person is called K Sarah. Hey Sarah Sarah. I like that. Sorry, continue. I like this is a nice landscape they were in. Mm. The humans oh, whoa. The human starting area is nice. Thank you, Time Lord, for redeeming uh, that. Um, TLB has. I'm also, going to. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm just going up to a waypoint, so I'm not. Oh, thing. I'm moving again. Uh, Time Lord has rede redeemed a cat cam. Don't worry about it. Let's go do a as, cat cam. As you can say, Please. as you can tell, TLB and chat this stream on a weekly basis with a third person and all of the stuff that we're trying to figure out with our own Twitch channels is a Come little on. bit chaotic, but we like it that way. There we go. As much as I'm complaining, your adoring we're public wants to, to see you and entertain. Not your butt. More cats. Yeah. Yeah. Chat. How many points for a webcam that is watching Dolly feed the cat a treat? Because we can make Dolly put on a mask, so we can have the Dolly cat, the Dolly cat cam. Is that too much? <laughs> Are we getting too meta? I still think we need a redemption to give me a treat. <laughs> I mean, I could come into the other room. I could make num num noises. <laughs> so I am again going to point out my seasonal pumpkins. I have put in camera view, but Dolly is now in the way because she's licking the blanket. He'll be running rings around me. Go seasonal pumpkins. Yeah, I'm waiting. Hey, Sturm. Thank you for coming in. Uh, happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing all right. I mean, you and I can ride it. Let's ride ahead while Dolly's sorting this because Dolly uh, I'm coming back. doing. Raptor sat I down. love your little dinosaur thing too. Little I just, plushy. Like I just I just love this so much. There's another one for the griffin that you can get, and I just um, um we are playing some Guild Wars 2 uh with Right Big Chimkin and TL Big Tiny Little Boy, TLB. Um oh, so, so How are you doing? I hope you've had a good day. Um and Mika Puppy, hello! How are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Ziggy has made a really entertaining suggestion about how I could interact with your chat through my chat. Okay. Uh, I should have a point redemption thing to spook you. 
So I'm just going to buy an air horn and walk into the room right now. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I just how to peek the microphone in three, two. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Sturm doing great. How about you? Um, I'm not doing the best. I've had some really rough health stuff, but I really wanted to stream today. So I'm, I'm kind of. I'm my best and it's a nice chill easy stream with Jimkin and, and TLB so um looks like fun never seen this game before it is oh we get a cutscene oh I doubt I've had the cutscene already okay well me and TLB will get the cutscene um so Guild Wars 2 is an MMO so it's a multi massively multiplayer online uh, role-playing game if you're not familiar like World of Warcraft or um Final Fantasy 14 um it's 10 years old it's recently had its 10th anniversary in september um it's a lot of fun i've been playing for 10 years um and Jimkin and i played it on stream uh, a couple of weeks ago now and sort of said to people like we're playing this game if you want to come join us that would be awesome and a lot of people in our discord went yeah that looks really good <laughs> so we now have a guild and um it's it's awesome in the discord uh, Sturm, you are in our Discord, I believe. Are you in the Discord? Yeah, uh, I um, can see them on the list. Um, there is, if you're ever tempted to play an MMO, there is a shared uh, channel in our Discord called Chilled Wars with all the information relating to this game that you could probably possibly need. Um, there is an entire thread dedicated to key details for new players. So if you're interested after this and we've sold it to you effectively, um, go take check it out. But yeah, so just as a base, Anybody a basic. Thirsty. Lizard, hello, and thank angry. you for the hydration nudge. How are you doing? I hope you're feeling a bit better than you were. And thank you for yeah, coming this in. Is, um, so this is uh, this is Lion's Arch, and Lion's Arch in the lore and in the, in the game and in Guild Wars 1 as well has always been a hub for all of the different races of the world. Yeah. And this one, uh, Lion's Arch, in this this iteration of Lion's Arch has gone, uh, has gone through like X number of changes because they've done, they've had loads of story components happen here. So there was an original Lion's mm -hmm. Arch that I saw when we start, when I started playing the game when it was new. Um, and then they blew it up and rebuilt it to how it looks today. And there's jumping puzzles and there's all sorts of different things that you can look at. And it's just, mm. I do like the aesthetic of this place. I will say my frames in this place are also absolutely terrible and I can't figure out why. <laughs> I think it's this, just this spot. As you sort of um, move through the map, it's a lot more so are we gonna this is a, your general banking area yeah um it's okay. your general banking area tlb um this is a really good hub to go to if you want the bank and the trading post um because the trading post is over here Ooh. look how pretty some of this architecture is and yeah it's lion's arch is is so pretty um it is very pretty here trading post is in here, here. It's going particularly well with my background music as I'm doing a tour of the town. Um, and the... Uh, Arcraft Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Um, TLB sent me to say hi. Thank you very much, TLB, and thank you, Arcraft. I very much appreciate the follow. <laughs> welcome in, welcome to the front Hello, Ark. Um, The other good thing about Lion's Arch is you have all the professions in the middle here um which we've not really touched on professions at all but if you decide to pick one up they are you, your base is here basically they're all within reach and it's nice and easy and it's very Whoa. within reach of the bank and trading post as well i saw that coming and it still made me jump because it's a new sound thank you for the explosion jump scare tappercraft <laughs> I've changed. I, I'm no longer. I, I'm no longer. I'm no longer using. Um, is that a little too loud, chat? Because that's brand new, and I limited it as well. So if you want me to turn it down, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I no longer have creeper scare. I just have a straight up explosion. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. Whilst I'm looking at it, I'm going to go turn that down. If everybody in chat is saying is it's a little too high. Um. So. The wizard. Thank you for the box box. How's it going, uh, Wizard? Wizard says they're doing better. Not looking forward to my next appointment, though. I'm glad you're doing a bit better, Wizard. Um, so the the other thing with Lion's Arch, um, if you guys come to me, I'm under the big blue 
glassy thing. Um, yeah, I was just running around trying yeah, to get all yeah. the little points of interest stuff. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so I, w I just want to say I just want to say to everybody in chat that that explosion noise is already that was already down to forty five percent in terms of playback, and it was still too loud for everybody. So we'll go. Jimkins we'll go wandered off, so let's, I'll show some, you. <laughs> we'll go thirty five until somebody redeems it again, and then I will lower it again if it's too loud at that. But I'm not going to sit here spamming it whilst live because that will just be upsetting for the people that were upset by it being too loud. Um, so in here, you have all of the portals to the different capital cities. But we're all awake now. For the areas. Um, so before, you know when we first started and you had the waypoint in each starting zone? That didn't yeah. ever used to be a thing. So you always, if you, like if I rolled a Silvarian Chimkin rolled a char, and we wanted to play in the char starting area, I would have to walk to Lion's Arch, get through the portal, and then walk to him. So this is where we would oh. do that. So like this is this is the Silvari area, um, this is the Char area, and it just goes straight into the capital cities. Um, there is how you access all the different raids um, are in Lion's Arch as well. That, that's south of us, but that's not really something people need to be aware of right now, I think. Um, so let's go to where the guild stuff is, which is down here. Before we get too far ahead in the stream, can I do a can I do a little bit of a disclaimer from my personal experience of this game? Yeah, if you want to play um, this game, if you if you want to, this is a recommendation for all the new players in the community that are playing. I know some of you have already started along these lines, so it's you know uh, you you can make your own decisions about whether or not you're enjoying it. But um, when it comes to the crafting professions, I would say leave those for late game because when you start them, they will become all encompassing, especially with the gathering of certain materials to make certain things. So if you're going to do the crafting professions, try them when you're a bit more happy with the gameplay loop and it's just something that you can grind away on in the background. Mm -hmm. There's nothing stopping you from picking up the materials as you're going along, so you'll have a stockpile of stuff when you come to making things. But I wouldn't recommend doing them first. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure both times that I've been massively put off this game has been because I've got massively into the crafting professions that have just burnt myself out on it. Yeah. So just and enjoy the process. If you get along with them and have already started them fine, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't mainline them too hard because it kill it killed my interest. I it would might kill yours. I would always recommend gathering the nodes when you go near them though. Because if you it's yes. good A, no, no, it's good to have a stockpile of the crafting mats. If you're never gonna use a profession, you can sell them. Um, and B, get, it gives you XP. You'll get, you'll get to a point with the crafting profession where it's like, okay, to level this up effectively, I need to make 90 copies of the same bag. Yeah. It's really useful to have that equivalent of the materials just banked when you go to do that. Um, so, for Krim and Time Lords and people, um, we are in Lion's Arch and we are at the Guild Bluff Waypoint. This is where the Guild House is. It's This is, this is it right here. Um, so, if I'm we go in... If we go in here, I'm we'll ask you if you want here. to continue. Um, Ark, thank you so much for stopping in. I hope you have a good rest of your day. This is our this is our guild hall. It is the same for everyone at the moment. Um, we just have to. The, the, when I was in a guild before, they have people that stand in front of each of these little things, um, which we have to unlock. So this is the guild commendation trainer, um, and. That's still pretty you loud, can, right? You can buy stuff through here. I mean, it came a little bit better. Um, I need to have a look at how we unlock, like, the guild bank and stuff. Um, Thank you for the explosion, wizard. Testing. About, I'm keep, keep, we're just, that is still very loud. We're just keeping everybody awake. I mean, it is a jump scare. There's a line somewhere. I'll go down to 25, um, and if it's a bit too low. The guild hall explorers here you can set up a guild hall in different zones. So this one's just like, hey, you there. Interested in hearing about ruins hidden in a canyon northwest of Maguma jungle, about the peculiar Mordrum infestation there. So if you say that's interesting, tell me more. It will start a guild mission to go and unlock a, a guild base in that area. Wizard, thank you for redeeming. Give my cats a treat. Uh... Mr. Stern, welcome to the chat and very sus. <laughs> Matt Mercer, we found Matt Mercer. 
Is it actually Matt Mercy? You've got to sit up for a treat. Come on. You can do it. I see the cat. Cat. Oh, he's not going to talk now. I'm pretty... I've... Is Matt Mercer in Guild Wars 2? Matt Mercer. Matt Mercer is in everything. Guild I have Wars missed seeing the kitties. <laughs> oh, wait. No, he is in Guild Wars 2, but that wasn't him. Hashim voice actor Guild Wars 2. Um, so, yeah, Sturm, if we you play, are uh, still in chat, um, one of my channel point Sturm redeems is, um, is give my cats a treat on webcam. We play an unofficial game in our household, which is can you, how many things can you find voice actor Matt Mercer in? Because yeah. it is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> Thank you for the creeper jump scare, Ziggy Z, but unfortunately I was looking at chat. <laughs> I just, we're... There's a lot going on. Apparently, Matt Mercer is the, <laughs> apparently, apparently, Matt Mercer is the voice of the Norn male, like the the default character voice. Yeah, really. Yeah. Um, you learn something new every day. There is also some so, people over in here. I need to ask an important um, question as the guild master of this guild or joint guild master. Of this oh, here we guild. go. We what upgrades can I have? An office. This is our office. Oh. No, I mean, do we, do you and I have an office as a? What as upgrades a, as can I currently masters? purchase? Is this our office? Uh, I imagine. Hey there. Uh, don't I like um, real estate. I want an office. General merchant. Office. Ooh, these are expensive. So to, to, here. Just casually uh, chasing TLB up the stairs. <laughs> I'm running for my life. It didn't, there is it, a giant cat chasing me. It didn't and he's got a really through. cute rucksack. Uh, Ziggy Z, could you oh, redeem a frog it. fact for Stern, please? But the, my pop-up ends... didn't come through, which is a bit odd. This ends a... very abruptly. Yeah. Have a look at that. What purpose does this room have? What's behind that door? Exit. Frog That's five. Uh, so one of the ways you can tell a male frog from a female is by looking at their ears. A frog's ear is called the tympanum, and it is located just behind the eye. The tympanum is larger than the frog's eye. It is a male. If it is smaller, it is female. There you go, Stam. Enjoy uh, your frog fact. So I've just had a, a nice balcony. So the guild vault grants access to a 50-slot guild vault on gold storage. I might um, have died. <laughs> it costs 50 gold and a thousand favor. Nobody saw that. So, sorry, you announced gold. it out loud. No, no, but no, that was that was um. Fifty uh, gold and a thousand favor, and we currently have zero favor. Uh, Krim says at least seven people saw that. That's fine, Krim. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you for the luck, the thing, Fifty gold is a fair amount of gold, so that will be uh, everybody needs to get earning basically because gold in this game is rough. So me and yeah. Dolly will not be able to buy the stuff outright it'll be a shared experience mm -hmm. um, and i'm not i'm not that's not me that's not me being like okay guild guild favor we talked about earlier and um, we get yeah. guild favor by running guild missions um which Who wants to join me on a mission? we can do i think it said there were, it was five people um, Venice says i understand why the female frog has a smaller ear it's harder to hear the man complain <laughs> Nothing like uh, a bit of casual sexism in chat. No, mm. that's fine. <laughs> Shall we go do the Lion's Arch jumping puzzle? I would also like to point out that I immediately started complaining when Venna wrote that. Did, yeah. Yeah. You, you did. I, you know, I'll call myself out for my own bullshit. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so basically this is this is our guild base for the moment. We can unlock extra bases in the different places, but it will cost a lot of favor and gold. Um. So we will get there. We will get there. One day. But yeah, um, we um this is very much a cumulative effort. Mm -hmm. How much is that next unlock out of interest? I'm gonna be because I can TEP, I'm gonna BRB. I'm gonna go do a hit one hero point very quickly before we start. Uh your point was not proven, Benna. That was just a coincidence. You want us to wait for you to do the jumping puzzle? 
Yeah, that would be good because I am for this. I, for the sake of this, I am going to go and unlock my portal skill, and I only need one more hero point to do it. And I looked at the hero point that was in that town that you and TLB did while you were waiting for me, and oh, I, I didn't do it because I was like, "Oh, I'll do that later." But it would have been super useful to do it. I've got a helmet. Uh... I'm going to oh. unlock the jumping puzzle hacks for Mesma. Um... Let's go and get the the waypoint over the bridge, and that while we're waiting for Jimkin. Yeah, I've done all of the. I've unlocked all of the waypoints in Lines Arch, so from that perspective, just swing away. I'll be there in a second. I keep I pressing shift to run elemental. faster because I've been playing grounded. Which I will go on record and say. If anybody wants to play a video game that isn't Minecraft or Guild Wars, um, Grounded, that has just been fully released, is absolutely fantastic. So this if is, this is all the raid portals I mentioned before. If you can look past the giant spiders in it, it is a very entertaining game and we're having hours and hours of fun. Point of interest in here, there is. Uh, Sturm, so wait, is that a dino you're riding? It is, this is a raptor. Um, there are a couple of different mounts in Guild Wars, which is awesome. So TLB's mount, TLB's Raptor is the default skin, um, which you can die. There are there are um, if you have dies unlocked, you can change the colours of them. I have a lot of dies unlocked because I've been playing this game for ten years. <laughs> um, but my Raptor is wearing the I think Kins Kintsugi Kintsugi Raptor. I'm just helping somebody do the um, hero point that I've just done. So yeah, these are skins that you either you buy for in world in IRL money that you turn into gems, um, or you get given them as part of um, like special promotional events. There are also the other mounts I have unlocked. I have a Springer mount, which is a giant bunny that can jump really high really want that bunny yeah it's i'm for, you need I'm to be sure. level 80 unfortunately <laughs> i was gonna say preface some of this and say i think you need some of the dlc to unlock some of these right yes so of... yeah the the bunny the raptor used to be part of thorns but it isn't ah. anymore because it's standard the bunny is path of fire um which you you have to unlock and it just it's a it's a jumping mount and then you have the skimmer, which is a water mount. I don't have my I have my skin on for that. I'm a dinosaur. But do I have to unclick and click again? Yeah, there we go. I have a skin for this one. That is a nice blue. Yeah, it's a... I um, know what those creatures are. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a water mount, so it's very slow on land, but over water it's it's very speedy. That um, giant, what's the, the it's an ocean they're tiny in real gl life, right? Gl Glaucus, yeah. Glaucus. I have them in my Animal Crossing game. <laughs> uh, um, and then a jackal is the other one I have, um, which can jump through portals. But the the skimmer and the jackal and the bunny are all path fire expansions. Um, I don't have my skin uh, on this one either. In response to something Time Lord said in Dolly's chat, they really try to rope you into spending money on these DLCs. That's just the nature of MMOs, really. There we go. There's always yeah. some component that's... Um, once upon a time, if you did the trial edition of World of Warcraft, like um, the, which was effectively free to play, you wouldn't get access to the like internal postage system, and you wouldn't be able to join guilds. It's just, it's just the nature of this. Get these games as a format. Yeah. There's always some component that requires. But yeah, I didn't earn this dinosaur. I paid real world money for it, and I'm so happy that I did. No, you cause... paid real world money for the skin. You earned. Yeah, the you skin, had the raptor. Sorry. Yeah. I had the raptor. You have the raptor for ten hours. That's yeah. It. Um, but in terms of skins, like there are so many different skins. I'm scrolling As... through them at the moment, and it's just there are also, also other paid... mounts that I don't have unlocked. So there is the roller beetle, which rolls really, really quickly. Again, that is a path of fire unlock. Um, that is a PVP mount, the war claw. Um, the griffin is again path of fire, I believe. 
it might be Heart of Thorns. Um, this is a base flying mount. And then you have the Sky Scale, which is um, like the next flying mount up. These two are a grind to get. This isn't a quick unlock. Um, the Griffin and the Sky Scale, they are, a, they are a grind. And then a Turtle Mount, which is the new... That's the new mount with the latest expansion, <laughs> which is End of Dragons. I my my, oh, this is my um, the I've got a I've got a skill called Portal Entrain, Portal Exuant, and I can make a TP thing. It's super useful for jumping puzzles, which is why I went away and came back. I can oh. put that down. I can put that down before um, a really complicated jump. So without and... spending money, I'll be a pedestrian soon again. I assume. No, no. So you 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 have the Raptor as standard now. The Raptor is unlocked with ten hours gameplay. It used to be that the Raptor required one of the DLCs, but obviously well, level 10. Since, um, something changed eventually, and they've been tried to be kind about it. Is it? I think it's unlocked with level when you reach level ten. I mean, TLB's yeah. got it, and they're level yeah. thirty, so at least yeah, it's so, going to happen permanently at yeah. some point. Once you hit level ten, Time Lord, you'll get access. I to had the to get the DLC to keep the Raptor. Oh. Oh, they give That's... it to you as a tease, and then they're like, okay, we'll take this away unless you buy the DLC. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's okay. irritating. It's a bit irritating, but it's not. This get The entire vanilla game of this is free to play, and the entire vanilla game mm -hmm. was released without mounts in it anyway. There is no component of the original vanilla game that is currently free to play that requires mounts. It mm -hmm. just makes everything quicker. Yeah. So really, until you play Path of Fire, because as Dolly had, she had a jumping mount and everything else, the mounts were designed for certain features in certain areas, like the jumping mount, high areas where you're jumping from platform to platform. There's nothing like that in the original game. Yeah. In the same way that the jumping puzzles are it, like ban their use entirely anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's entirely a utility thing to help you get around faster. Uh, Jim, can, can you mod in my yeah, stream? Yeah, I'll do it. Um, Fusion for day T. I think you're a robot, so you are going to be banned. I can't do that. I'm in modding chat. Why can't I? Uh, okay. There are two of them. Yeah, I have to at the same time. Too. Simultaneously, that's pretty impressive. Um, I've lost my go. I've lost my Google. <laughs> there we go. Thank you and thank you, ZZZ. Uh, I. Um, let's go to the oh, jumping yeah, puzzle. Thank you. Thank you, Ziggy. I can access that because I'm in the pop-out version of the mod chat. So I could you ask um Ziggy to do it. Yeah, she has done. Thank yeah. you, Ziggy. Oh, yeah, sus spots. <laughs> I mean, they're the same message as well, so there's yeah, something poorly cut. Some poor coding went on there somewhere. Uh, yeah, we're going to try a jumping puzzle. For I'm the sure this is going to go well. People on the internet. Yeah, that's why I unlocked the teleport skill. <laughs> so, yeah, is it you are entering a mount, an area where mounts are not allowed? Turn back or be dismounted. I remember not to go too quick because TLB know. Know, doesn't know where they're going. Here. Follow I just Dolly, sat back down with my jam donut. Jam donuts do sound good to them. Did you get into your lollipop? Oh, you, no, she gave up and got a donut. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a newspaper article tomorrow. Grown woman foiled by lollipop. <laughs> donuts do sound better than lollipops. I mean... Stem... Um, I don't think you understand how donuts and the internet works. <laughs> um, I want donuts now. I'm hungry. Hey, now, yeah, don't be mean. Uh, internet can, internets can work however you want. Diggy could post the donut to Sturm, they just wouldn't get it immediately. Keep the dream alive. Also buy a hit with a lollipop for an hour window. <laughs> <laughs> like, what sort of lollipop are we talking about? Are we talking like a Chubba Chups lolly? Other lollipop brands are available. Um, okay, so a little pop. This Captain Wayant, Wayant popped up as we got up here saying, Think you have the cunning and the strength to get through me traps? Do so and you can have a share of me plunder. Um, we have to jump down here, and there are spikes sticking out of the wall. If you hit them, you will die. I don't uh, remember which way you have to one. go. We 
wish I, I could it. get my mount because. There we go. You got, yeah, I did it. It was the one that I did it. You take damage on the way down, but it was fine. <laughs> that was a good guess, right? It was, it was like a good guess. To decide from. This cat is losing her shit. She's dumping, jumping from my desk across the bed onto the windowsill so quickly that she's slamming her face into the window and then jumping back again. This is why we employ a professional window cleaner because the insides of our windows constantly look terrible so the outsides at least have to be good because yeah my god come the on cats are, the cats are atrocious fruit pops with the purple wrapping yeah those are notoriously those are bad, bad yeah you said about the cats it reminds me of what my cat does well my sister's cat because she has a window that the cat can jump into but he's too heavy so whatever he does, he kicks the wall, so there's now just a huge patch of missing paint from his claws. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. We have to we have like a we have like a solid line of just cat gunk because they rub their noses along the window on a specific line. So you just can't see cleaning the windows. If you want to if you want to follow the light, right? I mean to a certain extent, yeah. Do you know where you're going? Because I can't remember. Yeah, but I wanted to give TLB the experience, so you follow the light. So are they following the light, or are we in the dark? Because it's not on my screen. They said, oh, this ain't right, this ain't the way at all. I can hear the voice, but I can't see the light. Yeah, I think you have to in in interact with it, maybe, but... Okay, I've inspected it now. I hate okay. mazes. They're so confusing. I love mazes. I love a good maze. Yeah, we have to pay a window cleaner, otherwise um, our just we would never be able to see out the windows. Just pack gunk. You don't really expect that as a side effect of owning cats, though I've not owned cats before living with Dolly and George, so... Uh, so wait, is this game iOS friendly? No, this is PC. It's a PC game. Uh, though... There is probably an app for it, but it I will imagine be there's... like, equip your gear and do this and do that. I'm still following the light. Have you gone on without me? Because okay. my still light was about the light. my light was about two steps behind yours because I interacted with it late. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hi. I missed you. I'm leaving. Yeah, uh, come oh. back. To, come to me. Um. So let's see now. Twelve paces north because I've been married twelve times. Wait, wait. Uh, does best count? I don't know about that. He was a little on the flimsy side. Kind of a kind of a wispy girl. Eight paces west because I'm chompy ne because chompy nearly ate me when I first tamed him. Are you laughing? There is a walk through wall here. So actually, oh. the maze is a complete and total. It's not even a maze. It's got a trick at the end of it. There's yeah. a door here too. Oh look, it's my first mate, Shane. One. Say hi, Shane. I don't mind him. He's just the quiet type, you know, a thinker because he's a skeleton. Oh, you're still with me, right? eh? Yeah. Not bad, but a cup. Perhaps you're worthy of sharing in me spoils, but not me rum. Laugh, cough. Uh, so this is where the actual jumping starts, and it's really infuriating. Um... Can we just go all dead silent, just trying to focus? We're concentrating because mm -hmm. it's so easy to just fail on some of the um, basic stuff. You need to there. stick to the middle of the path, otherwise you will repeatedly die. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can res you, right? Yeah. yeah. We're entering the Indiana Jones portion of the evening. Oh, oh there we go. I was slightly off. <laughs> yeah. This is what the big sh the big shoulders of my character model upset me because it's so hard to just be where you are. Yeah, just what, what I'm gonna stand here and watch somebody fail this really basic jump. <laughs> that doesn't count. You got across first try. Did you just run across that hole? Yeah. Over there. 
Whoa! I feel like that's a bit cheaty. Oh, yeah, we do have a healer with us. Mm -hmm. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding in the tunnel. Oh, I almost got skewered. I did. Everybody okay? Everybody here? Mm -hmm. Right through the gizzard. Don't leave me in the tunnel. Let's leave him. I'll be, I'll be lonely in the tunnel. <laughs> This is the only jump in, the, in this jumping puzzle that gives me sweaty palms. Which jump? Oh, this one. Okay. It's really if, easy though. Yeah, but if you miss it, you go all the way back down to the start. <laughs> oh, that, that makes sense, yeah. And so this is the portal that I've got. Is everybody watching? You gone too far ahead? I'm no watching mind. you. I got Me this. Too. So I can put these moats down. And I can go back to that side and then back to that side. So it helps me He's if I good. fall down a giant hole. Uh, Mesmers make jumping puzzles in this game slightly easier. Mr. Stem, oh, do you not have a person here? Hmm? No. There's another person oh, yeah. here. I. Have I got my. It also is particularly Windows PC only. That does suck, Stan. I have a bit of a cheat. Oh, you can place down your. No, that wasn't. Yeah, not that. No, I've messed it up. on light please oh you know what i do have if i get my what's the get your weapons out the mouse three apparently swap weapon slots when i've got my torch out it has passive lighting i can't I hate this this bit I hate the most about this. <laughs> it just makes it take a long time. Uh, I'm a Mac boy, I can't handle Windows. When I get my new computer next month, I'll get parallels that allow me to play Windows games. Oh yeah, and because I was I I I fell. <laughs> that's good that's cool that you'll be able to so if, is that something that allows you to run Windows games on a Mac? Like a piece of software or your dual boot you have windows and max operating system installed so you can run oh, okay that's cool it is um i think that's um i think that's one of the yeah virtually very tempted to be annoying and do the click cookie clicker thing now <laughs> um i mean we would be stuck here waiting for him I will, never I will never invite you back to the stream again. But no, I installed it for I'll my invite own. Them. No, I will. It's fine. And I am... Um, I installed... I put it... I, I, I voluntarily put that in my redemptions. I figured people would try to figure, uh, find that. The the really thing... The, the thing that bothers me about this jumping puzzle is... Can you see me in the dark? Like, come yeah. back up here. Come back to the top. Well, I can't I see don't you, think we right? can. I, I see you. Can you see my hair? <laughs> yes. Like, for some reason, the darkness the doesn't affect my hair and the colour of my paws. The clothing... Pure... The clothing has shading, but nothing else does. Yeah, that's really weird. Come on. I'm too busy talking. Oh, this random is... This random person is back up and moving. Yeah, for some reason, in pure darkness, on yeah, my screen, your, my, your my hair, hair is, is really bright. Yeah. yeah, it is on my screen too. <laughs> yeah, it's really strange. Just glowy. Pick one. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's the one well, okay, that's, the... that's Oh, we can't see if they die or not because we're not part of a party. Well, I'll go through Let's this go one. one. I've gone down the one they went down. Uh, yeah, died. they knew I'm what dead. they were doing. Oh, I missed! 
I, I can get that. I, I, you're, you got down here, but you were dead, so I could have rezzed you if you jumped down the wrong one. I hit a wall. You hit a wall. Yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a wall. Over here. You're okay. on a wall. Oh yeah, I see you up there. Are you able to oh, get up to down. me? No, I'm dead. No, no, I can't. I can't. You're dead. Uh, no, we cannot get up to you. No, fair enough. Um, where do you respawn? At the waypoint. Oh, outside of the jumping puzzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. You're I mean, almost I'm... there. Like I might just wait and yeah, meet you at the beginning, the, at the, the, at the, the end. Yeah, we've got the treasure chest. That's it. Um. In fact, what I might do is an opportunity to run an ad and go get a drink. Oh, a bear. Could you get... um, so let's Please, could what... you get me a can of Coke? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, quick actions. So chat, I'm going to run a 1 minute 30 seconds ad while I go get a drink. Um, if you are subbed, you will just see my BRB screen. If you're not subbed, you'll see the ads. Gonna... So you're not going to be missing gonna... anything either way. Um, I'm going to be chatting to the, not the, to the subscribers. Okay, I'll leave my audio open then. Yeah, I oh, will be back shortly. Dolly subscribers, I am thinking about adding, after Ziggy Z suggested it, a, a redemption on my stream about scaring Dolly partway through her streams. So if you can think of a way that I could scare Dolly partway through a stream, leave a recommendation. Oh, you should do it. You should get one of those screamy chicken things and just... Oh, wait, so um, the door the rubber chicken. It. Yeah. I mean, that'd work. I think an air horn is a little bit too much because we do have neighbours and we do have a tendency to stream late at night. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... I can actually buy stuff from this man. That stuff is very expensive. Yeah, the um, it's not. I've this is a brand new character, but where I've played the game before, I've obviously got some of this built up. So, I'm not sure entirely sure it's worth it either. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be good. And yeah, if we go out here, we'll fall off a cliff and be back at the waypoint sort of and there's dolly so you were very early on at the but i feel like i need to like talk to every time we have a new person on this stream i feel like we need to talk th not talk them up a bit but talk about their like what game like if if we were ending the stream and you wanted to sell yourself as a streamer tlb what would you say like what would be the uh I don't know. I like like cross sell yourself. You're putting me I'm... on the spot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, like, what's your favorite game? And back. What favorite are you doing to TLB? <laughs> I'm asking them to uh, big up their stream, but I'm changing the subject to what's their favorite game. Like, what sort of game do you like? Okay. Uh, mainly play Minecraft. Fair enough. But I'm trying to be a variety streamer, so. I do more than just Minecraft. TLB like this does whole some... month is just horror horror games. TLB does some very interesting, um, very interesting art streams as well. Yes. I will just say while and... we're while we're chatting to TLB, if anyone wants to redeem, give my cat a treat. Uh, George is now sat waiting for a treat, so you would get a different cat. <laughs> Uh, Banner says, hi, it's okay to buy for the sake of the skins later on your big collection. collection. <laughs> Thank you, TLB. Oh, the bu buying from the pirates, sorry, I understand. <laughs> Banner, welcome back to the chat. How's it going? Have you had a nice time? Thank you for coming back for the second week. Um, hey, George, you've got to stay on board camera. In terms of spending the here. karma. Such a beautiful cat. Thank you. I can't you'll see be saying you're, you you're like beautiful, Weege. If you would like to go to Dolly's stream to look at her cat, our cat, there is a link to a webcam where my son is currently performing for treats. <laughs> my cat, my cat-shaped son. Oh, he's got his lip caught. Look at his lip. So yeah. Oh, he let you put it down again. 
So he had to have TLB. a tooth out. Yeah. Um, because cats do a thing that I didn't realize they did, where they they reabsorb their teeth. Um, not all cats. Not all cats, but uh, they, their cat their teeth can be reabsorbed. We his, were blessed with a cat that just sucks his teeth back into his own jaw. His tooth started reabsorbing from the wrong end, so he ended up getting an abscess in his face, just on the side here. Um, so he had to have his main his fang on that side out. And he's still not gotten quite used to it, so he will quite often get his lip caught on this side of his face and give him quite a peculiar little face. If I can get him to do it again. Vanna, the week has... Difficulty is you're taller than good. Dolly, so I always have to... There we go. Good workload down from crazy to normal at work. I'm walking away like we've got proximity chat, but we're in a Discord call. Oh, I don't you really dropped understand it. why I'm doing that. Um, you go. Your week's been good. Workload down from crazy to work at work, like normal at work. That's good. Happy about that, Vanna. I am currently on my second week of medically enforced burnout holiday, so I appreciate that it's uh, the good feeling that comes with normal stuff happening at work. Um, Jill, Guild Wars 2. Uh, I am now level 40, I think. Did I hit 40? Yeah, 42. I'm back. I'm loving it. I'm not playing it on a daily basis, but the bits I'm playing, I've super enjoyed. I've got back into exploration. And uh, you were in the stream last week where loads of people from our shared communities were starting to play the game. Uh, we have a guild now and multiple people are playing. And I'm, that's not even everybody. We've sent, we've sent requests out to people that haven't necessarily accepted yet. It's going really well. We're super enjoying it. It's really nice to learn a new MMO where it's free to play and I don't feel like I have to be playing it all the time because as much as I enjoyed our time on WoW and Final Fantasy XIV and so on, I hate feeling like I have to play it because I'm paying for it on a monthly basis. Yeah. Uh, where did we want to go next? Um, TLB, where would you like to go next? Because this, on a weekly basis, is probably going to be turning into let's help the person that we're streaming with. Mm -hmm. Let TLB decide. I'm not putting no, you on the nothing. spot. I, I'm not putting I know you on nothing the spot. of this game. Okay, so, so let's go back to really where you were. Anywhere. Let's go back to where you were when we started, and we'll just continue from where you were. So was that Cassex Hills? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll uh, just go back to Cassex Hills, and you can pick up what you were doing in Cassex Hills. Which waypoint would be best to go to for you? I've just gone to the two that uh, one of the two that I've got unlocked. I was just where, just starting to explore the place, so really anywhere in there would be good. Uh, let's go to Delanian then, at the top right, because um, that's at the start of the zone. Uh, Vanna's talking, we've got lots to look for, Vanna says in my chat, we've got lots to look forward to when it comes to the uh, the guild hall stuff, because they saw our explanation of how they worked. Oh, nice. Oh, good. I'm, good I'm, yeah, the community side, I'm super... It's been quite nice to be talking to people in Discord about it. There were lots of messages back and forth at the beginning, of, uh, like when we did the stream last week, and people are accepting invitations to the guild, and it's it's been cool. I, you know. Um, have you done this heart event? Nope. No, I have it half done. Ah, uh, let's let's carry on then. Where are you up there? I'm coming yeah. to you. Um, what are we doing here? Pick bushes for bandits, clear mud wallows, and cull hostile creatures. There's also a hero point down there, actually. Why don't we go do that? Oh. Yeah. Um, so far, Time Lord says, so far I've played a couple of hours per week. Not feeling the need to play all the time. Probably means I fall behind a lot, but eh, just means I won't run out of content. Um, I don't really feel like you'll be running, but you'll be falling behind, Time Lord. Like, I, I wouldn't worry about that if that's something you are worried about. Um. We, we I know Krim and Abby are uh, leveling are... hugely, but that doesn't mean everyone is. Like, TLB's level 30, Appa's just started playing. Um, yeah. uh, all, of this is tree. all of the zones are scaled as well, right? So it's not, yeah, like, yeah. it's not necessarily behind. You'll have people to... things to play... Uh, people to play with at all times. Mm -hmm. Which I appreciate. It oh, we're out of the heart. You're playing with it. it sucks when you're playing with a group of friends and you start out-leveling people. The hero point. 
If you want to try another map, there's apparently a rental spot for the beetle on this map. Oh! Uh, someone is here to do the hero point if you get here quickly enough. Yeah, I will come over to you. Fine, they did it. That's the hero point. <laughs> did it again. Yeah, you gotta do it for me, I'm not there yet. Hmm? Where is it? Around this corner? Yeah. Hello? A voice whispers in your head, we witness the birth of this world, we will witness its demise, we are the undying, what do you want from me? The whisper continues, show us your strength. We will grant no leniency, but to feed us will be greatly, re greatly rewarded. I'm killing mobs that aren't part of the hero point. <laughs> you get that one? Yes. And I apparently succeeded in an event that I didn't realise I was part of. And there is an event down here. Yeah. What are these people doing? Bone minions. Uh Controlling bone minions killed. Failure if any captives reach Draythor's. Something or other. I guess we just walk with them. Give up yet? Look everybody, we're helping. I barely cracked level 10. Honestly, that's fine. <laughs> like we can come play with you is the is the good part, you know? Yeah, we have to kill the... There we go. Is that it? Yeah. I believe there is another one that starts in here now. I got a better to oh what stats is on it precision yeah. better damage. Oh, there's a hero point in here as well. Okay. Nope, the cat just opened the door. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not gonna be able to get out now, the door's closing behind you. Chimkin, a while ago you asked me what uh, MMOs I played in the past. Yes, I did. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yes. Does Club Penguin count as one? Yes. No, <laughs> Club Penguin. I tell you what, Club Penguin is closed down and I was not the age to... I, I feel like... I, I Club Penguin I never got to play, but there are a lot of adults that are like, Club Penguin is the best. And it's one of those things that I will never get to experience because I was not the age that it was designed for at the time. But there are so many... Like for all, like the older generation, an equivalent was Neopets. Neopets yeah. is still around yeah. now, but it was a big deal for Neopets. us. Yeah, I did and, as well. Um, and I don't, I don't understand why there are so many adults still that like, oh my god, Club Penguin was amazing. My kids played it. I played it. Fantastic. And I just want to know what they're talking about. And I'm sure I'd be under. I've like, I don't know if I'll be impressed or not. I just, you know, did we get that hero point? Was it? It was a. Uh, it. You have to eat it. Okay. But yeah, Club Penguin counts. Uh, I say that like I'm a big fan of Club Penguin. I'm just really curious. I'm unconscious. There we go. Something cool that happened with me in Club Penguin? I get, I did game testing for Club Penguin. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, I can't remember what I did, but it was something for the Rainbow Puffle. So I did it like three times, just be like, I helped with that. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Yeah, there's a load of uh, there's a load of uh, 
I say adults like I'm not a 34 year old man, which is yeah. also an adult. But um, there are a lot of people our generation oh. that rant and rave about how fabulous Club Penguin was. I've never experienced it. Strong words, little one. We are not afraid. Yeah, Club Penguin was based in our hometown. That's really, really cool. Yeah. Oh, I just immediately went down. Thank you. Uh, chat, nice. if there is any, like my chat, Dolly's chat, if there is anybody that got to experience Club Penguin, tell me what all the hype is about because I never got to experience it. I didn't ever experience Club Penguin, but like, uh, I was, I did what a lot of your, Neopets. What about what about your younger siblings? Did well, what sort of uh, age? What, Ziggy, what sort of did you play Club Penguin? Because I didn't. Uh, the thing, I didn't have younger siblings. I'm the youngest of three. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. I don't think of any other MMOs that I could have played. You've never done the big ones like World of Warcraft or um, no. I'm trying to think of any others other than World of Warcraft and I can't think of a single one. Yeah. I had never got into WoW. Fair enough. Mainly because I'd... you had to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's um that was the thing that I um that was the thing that I pushed myself through eventually i i went for years saying i want to try it i want to try it and then when i eventually did it overtook my life uh... don't get me wrong i'm i'm happy to be i'm happy to be free of it now but um we had our own guild on that at one point and it was i enjoy the social experiences of a lot of these things which Ooh. is why i'm keen to sort of tie in the guild on this one with our twitch communities because it's um in the same way I like the social aspect of Minecraft, I, I'm never, I don't think I'm ever going to be a person that has like a hundred hour single play, single player playthrough of Minecraft, but I like playing on a server because I get to, it's really useful to having a shopping, to have a shopping district. <laughs> yeah, I finally thought of the other one that I played. I tried playing the uh, Skyrim one. Skyrim? Oh, um, Elder Scrolls Online. If you yeah, can both get to me, that. there's a legendary person up here. You'll get really good loot for it. Um, you can you actually go? get near I him. Thought, I, saw, I saw you go over a cliff. Where, oh, up here. Um, Vanna played WoW, Guild Wars 2 freed them when it was released. That's fair. That was some time ago, right? What was the expansion you were playing at the time, Vanna, when you quit WoW? Oh, I got pushed off a cliff. I cannot get anywhere near this person to even attack him. Yeah, I was trying to use my range stuff. Is there a bubble? Can we even join this? Might be a bubble. There's a bubble. I don't seem to be able to get anywhere near him to do any damage. Fair enough. Maybe you have to be within the bubble to... Um... Uh, Vanny quit at Cataclysm. Uh, yeah, so me and Dolly started playing WoW in Mists of Pandaria, so we missed the, like, the classic era of WoW. Yeah, we we got it though. Or at least I I, I I got it. I did not get it. Oh wait, no, I definitely didn't get it. <laughs> uh, no, I definitely didn't get it. Um, yeah, Wow was um, Wow was definitely my like formative MMO, but um. I think Blizzard have made some very interesting decisions since we quit, so I'm quite happy that we're not in there, because had they done it while we were playing, I would have felt a little bit bad about still playing. Yeah. A lot of companies that make really cool games keep getting shown to be really bad people, and I don't like I that. Just, it's yeah. one of those... There are so many... There are so many wholesome YouTube, like all of the stuff that's come out about various YouTubers over the years. There are so many wholesome YouTubers that I follow yeah. that I'm sort of waiting for them to have some sort of toxic scandal. Like Jesse Cox is an example. Um, 
like can seemingly do no wrong great guy on the internet and everything have followed him for years i don't know i've heard I'm some not saying he's got I'm, I'm not i'm not saying he's got skeletons in his closet i'm just saying um i'll be really sad if he did because uh time lord yeah. says i spend about four to five years playing star trek online starting when it came out it felt very liberating when i quit at some point it just becomes a daily ritual of habit not because you enjoy it anymore Probably the same with Emmy. any MMO, maybe even Minecraft to a degree, but at least Minecraft is definitely not pressuring you to log in every single day for meaningless tasks. Yeah, I fully agree. At some point, it does become a habit of just logging on because that's what you do, not because you're wanting to. Um, and that's like you log on to do dailies or you log on to do your dungeon run that you have to do or, you know, and that's, so that's people... I'm using my wrong weapon. I think certain people balance that out with the community aspect and we didn't really get into like having a guild and like communicating with people actively until very late in our mm. like for the years that we played we didn't really get into the guild stuff we met a, we have a friend called net that we call netflix because that was the name of his character in the game and we didn't really start doing that till it took us a while to get into the social aspect of it yeah and when i say we got into that we never really organized weekly events and stuff so we did get stuck with the daily grindy content i think wow could have been a lot better had we like had it like our twitch community is where we're talking and we're doing this and we're doing that and it's all um you know much of yeah. a muchness i like that you're in the middle of a bandit camp and you're just chopping a tree yeah i mean I important okay that would Vanna loved wow but god with the you've got god with the repetitive grind i think we've sort of like covered on that the like the daily logging in and running dungeons yeah i have a tendency to find a game that really sort of scratches like i can be playing a, i can be watching something on netflix amazon prime whatever um whilst playing it um and wow became that for me so with the dungeon runs and the repeated dungeon runs i was just doing that while watching like one of nine tv shows i was consuming at the time um wants to know have we done any dungeons yet there is some story in that as well we have not done dungeons yet i don't think dolly dolly's played this game a lot longer than i have and have you ever done a no. dungeon um i did fractal for the first time last year or the year before when i joined a guild and they wanted an extra person so i said i'd go along but it's just i've never done it's it not I, it's game, not right? no it's not i i enjoy concept. pve um i will get to dungeoning eventually especially if the guild wants to do it I I it's like to go. just walked in <laughs> okay but yeah um, i um we'll get to dungeoning eventually especially if people in the guild want to have a go but it's not it's not a primary primary focus on mine i want to do the exploration and that sort of thing i never enjoyed oh, yeah, dungeoning that? because i was too anxious about what everyone else you know what if i did something wrong and there's four other players that are just going oh my god what a noob and ugh and it's just i was too especially with wow i was too worried about the dps i was doing and if what? we want if we did it as a guild with like five people from the guild that would be cool to get the um story aspects of that out of the way and i wouldn't feel as anxious because you know the people so I think the difference is with WoW in comparison to Guild Wars 2 and Final Fantasy XIV again is another example that we're throwing out there. You and I have both talked about how nice the community of Guild Wars 2 is by comparison. Yeah. So as much as we're saying, wow, dungeons are really rough, that is very much, we're, we're jaded as ex-WoW players. WoW was, uh, WoW, they always did the whole, oh my god, we're, they just want to do it as quickly, some teams wanted to do it as quickly as they possibly could, and like mm. glitched up surfaces to do it as quickly as you could. And you well, especially could, like in, in WoW, like, if, been, if you'd never done the dungeon I, before, there were, there were cutscenes, and no people would just, you'd be stood there watching the cutscene, and, and then you'd come back and everyone would be like two bosses ahead, and it's like, well, okay then. I want, you know, I wanted to watch that. Uh, pugs are the worst, yeah. Uh, TLB's dog is having issues, so he has to, uh, they have to be muted for a bit. Yeah, yeah, no worries. That's fine. No worries, TLB. Um, um, and for those of you who are not familiar, Pugs is public. No, it isn't. It's something, a uh, pickup group. I like pickup groups. I've met some very interesting people in pickup groups, but pickup groups are an absolute, like, cat, like, you can look at it two ways. 
I know a lot of the people that played like original WoW really hated when they added the looking for group feature in game. Mm -hmm. But as a person that is not sociable in the slightest, like like there is no natural part of me that wants to go, okay, let's talk to as much as I'm I'm about to say this streaming to a bunch of people on the internet. Um there's no natural part of me that wants to accrue a massive like friends list in games. I like the ability for just finding a random group and get going mm -hmm. but there are there it shows the worst and the best of society <laughs> there are some really nice people in um pugs but there are some really awful people uh vanna says we have that a bit here as well um they suggest not to do dungeons with random veterans they will steamroll through yeah. So yeah, we'll keep dungeons and stuff as a guild activity. Which is fine, I don't mind doing that. Let me just tick X. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lots of pop-ups. Um... Yeah, so we are. We, I feel like we've talked out. We're we're inviting everybody to come play Guild Wars with us, and we've talked down Guild, uh, talked down MMOs. But yeah, it's um, you just have to be careful. Like like, like in everything, you just have to be careful, um, or understand mm -hmm. what you're getting into. Growing centaur stuff. Hi. Hello. Hi. Is your dog okay? Uh, she's really old, so her back legs don't work. Ah, okay. okay. And she needed to get outside. Oh. The door's opened again. Uh, Vanna, because you've been here for two weeks, um, I'm going to post a Discord link in my chat. If you'd like to join the Discord and come out and hang out at some point, that'd be great. Um, lots of people talking about various things and the stuff that me and Dolly are doing in our streams. So there is a Discord link. It is unlimited. Uh, it will work for unlimited amount of people, but will only be live for one hour. So if you're interested, have a look. If you're not, no offense. We won't take any offense. But you've been here for two weeks, so we know you are actually a person and not like a uh i'm trying to think of what you could be robot a squirrel a squirrel wearing a coat <laughs> Squirrel bot i mean you're a very vanna you're a very dedicated troll if you've been here two weeks in a <laughs> row and still want to watch us play guild wars that's you know we really appreciate that And they've not, as a Guild Wars 2 player, they've not uh, judged me for my terrible inventory management skills, so that's also appreciated. That does bug me uh, that you don't have your bag separated, I've got to admit. I mean, you mod that in the other games, right? In terms of, what is this heart doing? I'm sort of, helps her off. I don't think we've gone far enough along to be getting this yet, have we? I'm doing it. Yeah, there we go. There is a waypoint up here. Oh, you've gone off in a complete different direction. It's, I'm following the heart. Uh, I'm getting a waypoint in a cave. I'm just let's following find, Chimkin. Let's go find Dolly. <laughs> um, let's go find Dolly. Uh, Vanna says, "Sure, thanks. My plan for world domination is moving forward. We have a ve like I'm not I'm not trying to big ourselves up, but we have a very strict invitation process to our Discord. Once you're confirmed not to be a robot, <laughs> we'll just invite you. <laughs> so, I'm trying to think of a question that would pr pr oh. prove Vanna isn't a robot. Don't go near that. What's up? Toxic spore. Because you is a level eighty. What? It's it's we'll, gonna, my god we'll, we will die so i'm confused what oh, we're not going thing? near uh, that oh, thing the that thing over there yeah oh we'll do. it looks talking... like one of them's coming straight at us though i thought you were talking about the the vista 
Can I jump up this edge? I can. Oh, wee. That's another chest, uh, question for chat. If you were to ask a robot a question to prove that they weren't a robot, what question would it be? Well, huh. you know what I mean. How would you how would you prove that somebody wasn't a robot? Me and Dolly have a code word for such things, in terms of if we've if we ever get kidnapped or in trouble, because mm -hmm. that's just a strange thing we have as a like committed couple in a relationship. Um, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm not secretly afraid of kidnapping. <laughs> the only way I would I could think of like getting a robot to prove if it's real or not is this statement is false or is yeah is that what it is like give them a logical give them something that and yeah i know oh, a, um, i do know uh, what you a, mean a, but um, i can't word it's a loop right a uh uh but you, you know what yeah it goes around in a circle so they can't process yeah the only thing that i can really think of is the one that GLaDOS used for Wheatley. Okay. Which, what, what, yeah. It's been such a long time since I played Portal 2. Um. Are we going anywhere in particular? I thought we were stopping I'm following this hearts, heart. but you're just collecting waypoints. No, I'm doing this heart. I'm just trying to find more what places to doing? help guard Barnaby. I'm just, I'm just yeah, a we're follower. Just you. Yeah, we don't see any of the, the thing that you're currently doing. Um, okay. Uh, let's... This is why I was confused. Let's go up here then. Help guard Barnaby. Yeah, the heart back on help guard Barnaby is back up on the top. Yeah, yeah. but I've got it here. Uh, we've also just run close to the toxic things that you told us not to run close to. This is going very well. Excuse me. I will heal this random NPC and you've got to live. There we go. We can kill um we can kill uh centaurs in the general area and mm -hmm. do that right, yeah. Hey, I need your help. I, cl help. I, I click all the pictures with the fire hydrants, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's one oh, way, um, yeah. yeah, proof that you're, uh, like, pedestrian crossings and how many of these things have got a school bus in them. Yeah. Oh. I've seen some of those and they just ah. break. Oh, we had, um... I think they just want you to be able to... Big chance guild rules won't work on my computer. It's telling me the download will take three days. Benna! The guild, the download for Guild Wars is, is big. The, yeah, the, the download for Guild Wars is big. And I'm not sure on the state of your internet connection, but that seems like a very long time. Chances are it'll run once you've downloaded it, so just have faith. If Minecraft runs Guild Wars, no, that's not true. Um, <laughs> I can't offer technical advice. I got frustrated with Avian Falls when she was trying to when I was trying to help her install Guild Wars. We were that you didn't get frustrated with Avi. You got frustrated with the Myself, process. Because, yeah. What is your TLB? What is your biggest pet peeve? Just in general? Yeah, in general. Like I already know you don't like feet. But that's not a pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> what I was about to say did involve feet. Okay, but what's like your biggest pet peeve then? Just like, like and then we'll go we'll go around in a circle. What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh like little particles and stuff on my feet that like you're walking barefoot in your house and you just get like little bits of dirt and stuff and you can feel them. Okay. I I don't like that. I can understand Fair that. Enough. Dolly, do you have a pet peeve you want to share with the class, company, yeah, group? Yeah, just in general, I don't like feet. 
Uh, not one that I can think of right now. I have lots of pet peeves. Um, List them all out so I can find good ways to annoy you. <laughs> you know, okay. I, the, the first one that comes to mind, and it and it relates to like the field that I work in, and I'm not going to tell you that I've discussed not wanting to talk about my job on chat before, so I'm not going to do that because I'm quite easily located. If you, there's lots of like clues mattered about that you could find me very easily, so I'm not going to speak about my job specifically. But um, the biggest thing, and I experience it through through my job all the time, is when people know I'm going to have to stop, I'm going to take my hands off the keyboard because I'm getting frustrated even thinking about it. Um, you know you, you know the name of a, like a website, so Google.com. No, Google.com is a terrible example. Okay, GuildWars2.com in this yeah. context. And you know that the website is GuildWars2.com, but rather than posting it, like typing it in as a URL, they go to Google, search for it through Google, and go through it to Google, but they type guildwars2.com into Google. So many people in the real world do that as a process, and it drives me batty. And I completely understand why like, they do it. Logically, it makes sense, but they know the full web address. They type the web address into Google and then click, and it adds an extra click, and that pisses me off. Irrationally, don't get me wrong. I know I'm being irrational. It stems with you on that one. They say, oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, I just, it's so, co so common. So um, common. Time Lord says um, there is a really good sci fi game that takes a deep philo philosophical dive on the robot topic. It's actually called The Turing Test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of other pet peeves. I've also, why would you want to annoy me, TLB? That's the kind of person I am. I do the ah, little things that annoy people, but not in the awful way, just in the... So it's, ende it's endearing, it's not like... We're not yeah. like, oh my god, okay. That's fair. No, I'm, um... I'm a little bit chaotic when it comes to certain things, so I can appreciate that as a process. For example, I don't, nobody talked about it at the time, but when we were in that dark room in that jumping puzzle, did everybody notice when you turned invisible? No. We didn't talk about it at the time. I didn't notice. Did you make no. your friends go invisible? I do. I have a s ability called mass invisibility. It helps us if we're in a fight that we can't win. It helps us all break threat simultaneously. Huh. We're also out cool. of the range of that heart again. Um, yeah. It's also 11 o'clock. Oh. Um, do you want to go longer or are you done, Dolly? I, I have reached my limit. I would, love to, I would love to go longer, but I... I can't today. My health is not going to allow me. Fair. I base that decision entirely off Dolly because Dolly has a chronic illness and it is fine for us to stop. So now TLB, I'm gonna. I'm not putting you on the spot. So because I've given it you sounds like you think are. about this. I want you to. I want you to sell your. I'm gonna shout you out in my chat. Um, tiny little. Oh, Mr. Sturm's got a, a pet peeve when someone eats food on mic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you can that's... hear it. That's bad. So we are going I have I have posted a link to TLB in both of our chats. Um TLB is now going to sell their Twitch stream. Go. Uh you remind okay. me of my school, honestly, because they constantly did this. <laughs> like almost yeah. every single class it was sell yourself. Shall and I, I could never it? do it. Can I? Shall I pitch your stream? TLB streams my, art stuff experience. and Minecraft. I've seen them stream um, Sea of Thieves. Their stuff is quite similar to our stuff. It's it's, it's easy going. We are right by a fucking wow. Let's let's it's not. Guild Wars, not wow. I'm gonna yeah. I want to kill the spider. Um, okay. TLB does art streams i've seen them play sea of thieves they're currently doing a month of are you doing a month for a oh i am very dead mm. yeah it's a month of just horror <laughs> just horror uh, like a, a horror game for every single stream how often are you streaming per week i try to stream three times per week okay so that's three start three horror streams per week for the spooky season yeah. I um, I highly recommend that you go check them out. I've posted a link in our chats, and they were I think one of the first people I raided because Dolly raided them as well. 
No, I don't think that. Did I raid? Dolly raided you, and you you were so appreciative of being raided that you know we we visited since. You're now part of our Discord, and it's yeah. All the only raids I ever gotten before that were people that I already knew in real life. Yeah, no, but that's um you you were I was one over, like it was really endearing. From I'm gonna I don't I. I, I Tell me if I'm crossing the line here, but it was really endearing for you to react in the way you did then when you were so happy to receive the raid that I felt like that was no, that's great. So that's yeah. one of the you know, that's been it's not the reason that you're still around, but it was the bit that made me come back to your chat and yeah, I'm still was, around because I just kinda wormed my way in. It's not there's no <laughs> kinda, worming. There was, there was no, no worming. worming. We can, like we came back to your chat afterwards because it was such a it was so we were so nicely received and like it's it's worked out great. Yeah. But I'm gonna get you if you're back on this if you're back on Guild Wars 2 with us at another time or if we played another shared game, I'm gonna get you speaking about your own stream. Okay. I will, so you have to mentally prepare for that. Don't let that put you off of playing with us again. I'm never gonna play with you guys again. Ever. Aww. Never ever. Aww. There are more Dolly people here wanna... for the um, champion if you want to come back, Gabby. Dolly, do you want to talk about your. Like, how it. From your... Dolly has been struggling with her health the last couple of weeks, so streams have been a little bit intermittent, and I. I know it's not my place to say thank you, but I really appreciate the continued support of her audience because chronic illness is a bitch. And the fact that people are willing to support dolly when her streams is intimate and is really nice because i know there's a certain amount of that stuff when it comes to social media where if you're not doing something constantly people just switch off so it's really nice for yeah. me as her partner to see um the support she gets in her streams when she's had to take a few weeks off yes yeah. i would, I would but, fully fully agree with that like it's it was so nice to I know I've had like two and a half weeks off because my health has been shit and I was really hoping it would be better, but it isn't. So I'm just trying to do streams when I can. But it was really nice to stream today and see people back in chat again. Not that I didn't expect you to be here, but it was just really nice that you are continuing to support me, even though I've had a couple had to, had to take a couple of weeks off, you know? So Dolly might be streaming Cult of the Lamb tomorrow. What day are we on for Wednesday? No, you're Wednesday, not saying you're no. You might be back Thursday, right? You I might, might be, be back, back Thursday. Thursday for more Cult of the Lamb. I really want to be back Thursday for more Cult of the Lamb. Um, but it's I'm having to take each day as it comes right now. Um so I will have to I will have to see how I feel on Thursday. If I don't stream Thursday, hopefully I will stream Friday. And so on and so forth, you know? And I, I will be back on Saturday for more Guild Wars 2, and I will be back starting Gabriel Night 2 on Sunday for a four hour stream in the evening. So if you could, if you want to come check us out anytime, uh, we really appreciate the input and the interest and all of that stuff. And it still entertains, the cookie clicker is still, I'm watching the number go up in the background. I'm still seeing the number go up. How many, oh yeah, I will. We've earned 50 million cookies in this stream, so I'm only wow. activating it when people redeem that. So 50 million just passively in the background, super useful. And I'm only playing that game when somebody redeems it and it's left on for the rest of the stream after somebody redeems it. That is not an invitation to redeem it right at the beginning of every stream. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I'm only playing that game when on, when on stream. Um... So one day I will finish it and it will be a big achievement because I'll have only done it through redemptions. Sturm, Sturm has sent out a follow for TLB. Um, Time Lord says, TLB, prepare your PowerPoint presentation for your channel pitch. I expect nothing less next time. <laughs> Good exercise <laughs> for you, Nu. Um, and Cantex, see you, Dolly and Jim can take care. Thank you for being around, sticking around, Cantex. And if we don't speak before, have a good flight. And I hope you have a really nice holiday. I'm just having a look if anybody that we know is raiding in particular. Oh, my music. Is my music still going? No, my music stopped ages ago. I don't know why that's happened. Um, oh, it's weird to be entirely quiet. There we go. It's back on now while I'm finding somebody to raid. Um, Dolly Whiskers is currently streaming. Fancy that. <laughs> um, that doesn't count. Um, Dolly definitely needs the raid. 
Yeah, I will not. I will not. I will not be sending anybody to Dolly because that. Feels I've only got Skizzle, Man, Kajiro, and Shimkin. I don't have anyone else. In the spirit of how we rescued TLB, rescued TLB, it's like we found you as a kitten. Um, in the spirit of how I am we met a you, rescue. In the spirit of how we found TLB and uh, have now played with them this week, I would like to raid somebody that is just straight up streaming for the first time. There is somebody on researching guild I wars my... yeah i can hear my own voice from something oh there we go um there is somebody here called one sparrow tv mm -hmm. that is playing guild wars for the first time oh i, I think they might be stopping oh come on we're gonna do this we're gonna find somebody new to send to uh we're going to find somebody new to send people to because that's important that we raid people and get more people like TLB. We're throwing out a net to catch TLBs. <laughs> <laughs> I've just found Dolly Whiskers again on the list. That doesn't count. Um, am I dying? No. I no, can hear it's magic me. I can hear magic spells going off in one ear. Ooh. That'd be me. Has he found anyone, Dolly? Just having a quick look. Um, there is someone leveling Guild Wars. It's a whole new game to yeah. them. Uh, thanks for dropping name? by. I'm Oliver, a PC enthusiast and variety gamer, mostly multiplayer game. Chapster UK. Chapster UK. Mm. Yeah, let's go Chapster UK. So yeah, uh, we are both going to send you off to a new person that we found on the list called Chapster UK. Um, send them all of the love and interest that you and bring the to our streams on a weekly basis. And we really appreciate your input every week, guys. Um, I will see you again on Saturday and Dolly, maybe Thursday. Yeah, I'm send once you again, now. thank you so much for being here. We so appreciate it. <laughs> um, I'm going to send you off to this guy now. So have fun. <laughs>